Alrighty hosses, welcome back. And now that we understand the foundation of link building, the next thing we have to figure out is, well, how the heck do we actually do this? How do we get a bunch of links pointing to our website? Well, the first thing that I always recommend is setting up social network or social media accounts, whatever you want to call them. And that includes, of course, your GitHubs, your Facebook, your Google Plus, uh, and some of the lesser known ones that you may not think of, like Twitter. And by the way, in terms of social networking sites that I use, I never use sites like Pinterest and Tumblr, and I never use like LinkedIn either. But do I have profiles set up on those social networks? You bet I do. Why is that? It's because whenever you set up a profile on any of these sites, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, whatever, 99% of the time they're going to let you post a link to your website on their profile page. So it does a couple things. First of all, it helps connect with people, your customers, so on and so forth. It builds your brand and also gives you that nice juicy backlink. And by the way, if I ever say backlink, a backlink in SEO is just a link on another site pointing to your site. So this is just a link to somewhere else on my own website. This is a backlink. It links back to the new Boston. So again, they're all links. Just backlink is on another site. So I don't want to confuse you guys. So there you go. Set up a bunch of social network accounts. Another thing that I want to mention, of course, the most important thing is just create awesome content. So make sure that you just create something make sure that your site is actually useful this is the best way if you create an awesome site that's either funny or educational people are just going to post links to it naturally whether you want them to or not so the next thing you need to think about is why would anyone ever link to my site besides you know if you just have to pay them what is the reason that people naturally link to web pages well just think about it I share links with my friends if something's funny, I you know tweet it to them or I send it to them through text or maybe if I think something's real funny, then I'll post it on you know one of my profile pages, Facebook or my website. Another thing is if something's useful. So I like using Reddit a lot and I'm subscribed to like a bunch of programming subreddits. So if I find you know a really useful Python tutorial, I'm gonna post it on the Python forum. So funny, useful, and also, if something's just a resource that I'm like, um, I don't know, maybe I thought that this post was really helpful and I wanna come back to it, maybe I'm gonna post the link somewhere so I just don't lose it. And that way, if I ever am like, hey, I wanna figure out how to do that one thing in Python again, I have that link somewhere. So those are all reasons that people actually share links. So just don't make a web page by, I hope people share this link. You actually need to think about this. So there you go. Another thing that you can do is you can actually email bloggers and website owners. So let's say that you're trying to set up, um, let's say that you're trying to sell some t-shirts. I'm gonna go fashion your view blog. So right here, a list of the top 50 fashion blogs. So people who make or own fashion review blogs, they actually are looking for content. So if you just develop these really you know, unique and interesting t-shirts, then it actually helps both of you out. So email them back, hey, if you can review this site, then they're gonna review it, post the link to your thing, there you go. Maybe you're making this new iOS app or Android app. Do like Android app review. So look at who reviews Android apps. Well, all of these people right here. So you might wanna email PC Mag or you know uh, whatever digitaltrends.com, CNET, like hey, can you guys review my Android app? And there you go, free links for everyone. Now, another cool thing that I can recommend is if you have a site that you think people are gonna be linking to a lot, make it really easy for them to link to it. So let's say that, all right, this is my most popular tutorial in the world. People are, are probably gonna wanna link to this. Well, what I can do is I can have some graphic or logo, or you know that Facebook and Twitter always has these social share buttons. You basically have to click it once and it makes a link. Well, if you can do that, make some cool graphic or logo, but like, hey, if you wanna link to this and put it on your blog, just copy it and paste it over. 
That way you're making it as easy as possible for them for them to link to your site. Now, what I need to do now is talk to you guys about what not to do. So what you definitely don't want to do is let's say uh, Android forum. Say you're trying to promote some Android app. You just don't want to go sign up at every single Android forum and copy and paste the same thing with 50 of your links in it. This is, how do I call it? I, I guess I'll call it search engine suicide. This is going to absolutely kill your ranking. If you ever do anything that looks like spam, then it's going to absolutely shoot your website in the face. Spamming is a lot different than actually signing up for this forum, participating, being part of the community, and just, you know, having a link on your profile. That's what you should do. Just don't go and spam it or else, guys, it's going to absolutely kill your website. Another thing that you guys are going to be very tempted to do is go on these sites like Fiverr or there are a bunch of them like those and just buy a bunch of backlinks. I'm going to show you what's going to be tempting. So if you just go to this and type in backlinks, there are ads where you can get like 10,000 links for five bucks. You can probably get like 30,000 backlinks. And what these people are going to do is they're going to go whatever method they have and just start plopping your link in this like default article, just posting it around the web on every forum that they have, whatever their bots do. And guys, I know that this is incredibly tempting because there's so many links. You guys may think it just might boost your website through the roof. Do not do this. It's incredibly tempting, but so is heroin. Now, the truth is this. These people on these sites, they're going to do exactly what they told you to. They are going to post 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 links. But the thing is, you do not want 10,000 links all at once. You do not want 10,000 links on pages that are not popular or completely irrelevant to your page. So what Google's gonna see whenever this happens is, hey, this person has like a site, it's been grown steadily, and then suddenly they have 10,000 links, and that sudden influx of links is incredibly unnatural, it's unhealthy, and all of these sites are also irrelevant. So this guy is probably doing something shady. So it's better to just let your links build naturally over time. So follow these tutorials that you're watching right now, set it up in a nice um, non-shady kind of way, and that's gonna give you the best results. So again, you know what? The best analogy I can think of is, you know whenever you're stranded in the ocean, it's going to be really tempting just to drink the salt water. It's going to seem really great at the time. But what drinking salt water actually does is it's going to kill you faster than if you never drink it at all because it dehydrates you. So guys, don't carry yourself in the ocean. Don't kill your site. Don't just buy 50,000 backlinks. Now, another thing I want to point out is that these sites like Fiverr, these are actually really cool websites. Now, if you type SEO, there are a bunch of really awesome people that can help you out legitimately with SEO. And what they're gonna do is they're basically going to do for your site what I'm teaching you guys right now. All of the proper techniques, all of the things that, hey, you might wanna change this title around, might wanna target these keywords. So if you can find those people, then I recommend it. These are These guys are usually pretty cheap compared to everywhere else. And there's some really quality people on here. But again, if it sounds too good to be true, guys, I'm telling you it is. Don't commit suicide for your site or don't murder your site before it even has a chance. So the last thing that I'm going to point out is this. Whenever you're building links to your site, don't just target one single page. So you may think, all right, I'm going to try to build a bunch of backlinks and I'm going to just point them all to the home page, the most important page on my website. What you should do whenever you're trying to build links is have links to your relevant pages. So maybe if I am part of some Android forum or Java forum, I'm gonna post the link to this, my Java videos. Maybe I am, uh, I don't know, part of like another Python community on Reddit. So what I'm gonna do instead of just posting it to my homepage is I'm actually gonna post the link to the Python forum right here. So again, relevant pages on other websites should point to relevant pages on your websites. 
whenever Google sees that and sees that content on both of those pages are relevant and they're connected via link, you're going to get a huge boost. It's going to be awesome. So again, a lot of good advice on how to build links naturally. And guys, like I said, again, if it sounds too good to be true, then it probably is. So make sure to do it legitimately for the best results. Thank you guys for watching. I will smell you later.